you're likely experiencing more intense physical ascension symptoms. I'm going to explain why that's happening in this video and what you could do to really help alleviate those symptoms and make things a little bit more manageable for you. First off, I want to start out by saying that physical ascension symptoms are completely normal. They are part of the expansion process. As our body vibrates up in frequency, we need to release energy that is stuck or dense energy that's been stored within the body. And that comes up in a multitude of different ways. Mainly right now, a lot of physical type ascension symptoms. I've been experiencing a lot of lower back, like lumbar, strange stuff in the lower lower abdominal torso area, all the way you know from the front, all the way around to the back, just seems really, really stiff down into the root, goes up into the solar plexus. So these are areas that my body is showing me needs attention, it needs consciousness. When we focus our attention, we focus consciousness into these areas within the body. And they that actual focus of that consciousness, it's like a laser beam of energy and it moves into these dense areas and it gets energy moving. So when you're starting to experience these ascension symptoms, tightness, you may be experiencing digestive issues, um, inflammation, fatigue, not to mention, of course, the stress, the anxiety, and those types of things, right, that come up in the mental field. But all of this is going on because we are experiencing a tremendous amount of love, of light, that is returning to you. So as that returns to you, it is going to find its space within the body. So everything that's been taking up space needs to be lifted or it needs to be released or needs to be moved, right? So these are the energies that have been keeping you down, keeping you heavy, keeping you feeling kind of depressed, um, like you have no energy, no motivation, those types of things, right? But your body is showing you exactly where that dense energy resides. So we don't have to wait for triggers for the, the mental stuff, the stressors, the anxieties, all those situations to occur. Your body will say, hey, we're feeling it here in this area. For me, it's the lower back. So we're feeling it here. We've got some dense energy here. This energy is ready to be released. So bring the focus of your attention into this space. Breathe into it. Squeeze the muscles in that area. You can manipulate your body. You can move it to really get tension in there. Breathe into it. And you will feel energy start to release. When that happens, the frequency in that area will start to rise. The tissue will start to vibrate faster. And as it vibrates faster, it moves new energy through it. Higher frequency light, all of that love, all of that light that is streaming in to move into your physical vessel. It's needing the space to do that. That's all coming in and looking for that space and your body will show you exactly where it's been locked out. So you bring your attention into these areas. If you're feeling it in the heart, a lot of heart chakra activations, right? You may be feeling it, your, maybe your pulse is a little bit wacky. Maybe you're feeling a little bit off. Sometimes you're a little short of breath, a little tense here. You could very simply just start to rotate your shoulders and get energy moving in your chest. Put your hand on your heart and get your energy moving. You could expand, drop your shoulder blades back, really open up that heart space and just take a deep breath into it. And release and do that throughout your day. A very powerful way to bring consciousness into the heart space, into the heart space portal, the heart chakra, to help get that energy moving through there. So very simple things. If you're feeling that tension, if you're feeling it in your upper ab abdomen, in your solar plexus, same thing. You could put your hand on your diaphragm and breathe and force that out. Force that forward with breath, right? Very simple breath. Breathe in. And exhale. As you do that, you're creating space in your solar plexus. You are forcing your hands forward, stretching the tissue. It starts to vibrate faster. Heat gets generated. And energy moves up through there. So this could be happening throughout your physical body. If it's happening in your throat, if it's happening 
in your third eye. You could create tension in these areas. I have breathwork videos on this channel that will show you how to do that. So all of these things we call symptoms are actually signals from your higher self being directed through the body. Your body is speaking to you, saying that these are areas that need attention. We have the power of intention. We can direct it with our focus, with our consciousness. It starts with a thought. I need to get inside and I need to feel this. I need to get in and breathe into this area. I need to actually squeeze it. Remember when we rolled our shoulders back, right? We open this up. You could squeeze it and open it and get energy moving. You could do that with your solar plexus forward and pull it back up and in. These techniques get your energy moving. So these physical symptoms are an amazing sign that your body is going through upgrades as your DNA activates from all this light. It releases all of this energy and the energy needs to move through the system. And if your body is blocked with energy, the energy cannot move. And that produces more symptoms. Think of it as that it's a louder calling from your body, right? The more inflammation you feel, the more tired you feel, the more aches and pains that you feel. These are all signs that you have stuck energy and you have the power to direct consciousness inward to be able to allow that energy to move through you. That allows more space to be created. Higher frequency light has the space to move into and you embody that energy and your physical body actually rises in frequency. So we're always trying to get our, our mental up in a higher frequency, right? We want to rise in a higher dimensional fields, right? Our awareness, but our physical body sometimes lags behind. So it's so, so important to reconnect with your physical vessel. Go into these areas again where it is showing you that energy is stuck. How do you know this? It's the physical ascension symptoms that you are experiencing. That is a calling card back to the body. Breathe into it. Squeeze it. Release it. Get energy moving through these areas. And your higher self will move in. Your frequency will rise. Both consciousness, your physical vessel. You'll be able to embody more of your higher self. And you'll start to be able to perceive everything that goes with the higher dimensional fields. If this video resonated with you. Please watch this one next. Thank you.